All right, what is up, YouTube? Zuri back for another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zuri Vankovic, and here we chat about growth, spirituality, and leveling up as a human being in life. So today's topic, what we're gonna do is talk about the entitlement trap. Zuri, what's the entitlement trap? Oh, I'll tell you what the entitlement trap is, and you already know based off of the title of it. So the entitlement trap, the feeling of being entitled. It is what us millennials, now the Gen Z, are being known as the entitlement generation. Now, I don't fully uh, agree with that statement from you know the all powerful boomers, but what it does say is something about the times we're living in. We have a lot of conveniences, we have Amazon, same day delivery, we have Uber Eats, we don't even have to cook our own food. These are all luxuries that we were not afforded, you know, 10, 30, 40 plus years ago, right? So people actually had to cook their food every single day. I know it's crazy, right? But as millennials and as Gen Z, we need to remember the keys to success. And one of those things is not being entitled. And so the entitlement trap is really falling into victim mentality and needing things done quickly for them instead of doing it ourselves and really being able to do the work and live with the intention of seeing the things that we want out of life come through. So the entitlement trap can sneak up on us on anything from money, you know, work, not actually going out and earning a living, right? Or earning the income that we wanna do. Uh, it could be friends. Why don't all my friends hit me up all the time? You know, maybe it's because you're not a fun person, right? And that doesn't mean you can't be a fun person. You just haven't been showing up as a fun person, right? And obviously we've had the last year with this pandemic and stuff, but what kind of, how can you be proactive and be the initiator and actually have a fun idea that other people would wanna be a part of instead of letting other people come up with it? That was a huge one for me. And even to this day, I get so caught up in work and stuff, I forget to actually make plans, go and invite people to stuff and actually be the initiator. Uh, I spent a lot of my time in the entitlement trap or even not even being entitled, just having the luxury of having friends that are up to cool stuff and I just tag along. So the entitlement trap can show up, job, you know, why aren't I getting a promotion? I've been at this job for three years. Well, I mean, have you asked? Have you asked for a promotion? I mean, did you, are you working harder? Like the person that one of your colleagues, same pay grade, same level, do you do more than them? Like, I don't know, do you deserve the raise? You know, I used to feel that way working at McDonald's in high school. I'm like, man, I'm still earning like $10 and 25 cents an hour. I've been here for two years. I should be making like $12 an hour. And it's like, dude, I showed up right on time. I clocked out right away. I, I was pretty good at my job. I really managed the fries section really well. I made killer fries. They were never overdone. They were never undercooked. And the McFlurries, I did always, you know, take them all to the top and, you know, extra ice cream and fudge, caramel, whatever they asked for. I tried to go above and beyond that, but did I really go above and beyond for my job? Absolutely not. And looking back, you know, I could have, you know, stepped up harder, but that's just the reality of being a teenager working at McDonald's. They get it all the time. But applying to you in your adult life or early adult life is like, what are you doing to provide more value to get the outcome that you want? right? And all of us want it to be easy, right? I want it to be easy. Who doesn't want it to be easy? But the truth be told, if it was easy, nobody would want to do it. It's just the way it is. One of the personal development goats, Jim Rohn said, don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better, right? Be better. And then everything will be easier. If you expect the hard stuff and you expect it to be hard, then it's not going to be as hard. You know, you're expecting it. But if you expect it easy, every little thing is gonna be such a little headache. And I still struggle with this, right? Most people still do. But getting out of the entitlement trap and choosing to be determined, hardworking, and deserving is ultimately gonna cause you a lot less stress in your life. So that's pretty much the entitlement trap in a nutshell. This can show up in so many different areas of your life. I just know personally, I've experienced it in relationships, I've experienced it in work. Uh, like the jobs I've had in the past. So how can you level up? How can you be of more value to the people 
uh, around you and in your circle and ultimately be the kind of person that gets what they want by helping others. Another you know, personal development junkie guy uh, is Zig Ziglar, right? If you can help enough, he, he always said, if you can help enough people get what they want, in return, you're gonna get what you want, right? And so that, that's something over the last year, a couple of years, I've been trying to implement more, um, trying to give more than I take, right? I, I grew up a taker, right? It was like everything came to me. I, I've had all my, a lot of my needs met and you know, I, I had to kind of climb out of this, you know, stigma that millennials are lazy human beings and they are entitled and stuff. And it's, it's not that bad, you know, it's actually very empowering. So you will feel better when you get out of the entitlement trap. So it's like a double entendre. You're not happy do, doing nothing, right? You're not happy being lazy. And on the other side, you will be happier when you just do the thing and you bite the bullet and you do the work, whatever it takes. So that's the entitlement trap. Don't fall into it. If you're already in it, try hopping out. Just be a little bit more intentional the next time at work. Be like, hey, am I actually giving it my all? Or can I let go of wanting this thing? Can I let go of wanting or feeling like I deserve the promotion? Because I know, because it's just like me. When I was at McDonald's, I didn't deserve that, right? But me thinking that I wasn't doing the, the required work necessary to get a promotion, but I still thought I deserved it anyways, that is the entitlement trap. Don't fall into it. If you like this video, hit like. If you like this content, hit subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Be a part of that movement with me. I'm very grateful for you. Thanks for checking out this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.